I'm just letting a few more people in and then we should be good to go. Everyone's in, right? We do keep an attendance. So the person that is the iPad 5, what is your name? <laughs> oh, it's Elena. It's me. I see you now. You're I'm trying to rename it. Let me figure it out. It's okay. It's not super important. I just wanted to make sure I caught you, but it, your photo wasn't showing up at first. And then I saw you and I was like, I know that person. I hope so. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, I'm just going to give it one more minute to get people in here and then we'll get started. Okay, so Spark Your Career and some of the classes are a little different online versus when we do them in the the office. So this may be a little shorter than expected. And the idea is that you would utilize that time to do your lead generations and the daily success systems that they went over yesterday. Uh, so as I run through this, it's very interactive. Feel free to jump in with any questions. I have a tendency to talk really fast. So if I'm if you want me to slow down or go over something again, feel free to jump in. I don't mind that at all as I go through this. Um, did anyone do the daily success systems yesterday and have anything to share uh, before we jump in too much or any ahas from that? Okay, so another thing I like to suggest early on is that there are three books that I highly recommend reading. And most of you have probably heard of them already. The Millionaire Real Estate Agent, uh, shift and the one thing all by Gary Keller. Uh, those books, you can find them online on Amazon. Uh, sometimes the office will have them, but we are out here in Medford. I always suggest those though. They're a great read and they'll give you a lot of information and systems to put into place in your business. Uh, so that couple hours gap that we'll have where if you were in person, we'd be working on this together would be your lead generation calls and updating your command, your CRM to make sure you're getting those 10 contacts, ideally a day added in there to start building out your business. Um, a lot of people I suggest call your sphere and a lot of people say, I don't know what that means. It's just reaching out to friends. Hey, I'm in real estate. Just wanted to remind you, do you know anyone looking to buy or sell? If they give you a name or a number, then that's a warm lead and you can add them into your CRM that way. If you've ever done a sales job, you probably have the idea of that pretty easy. So when we go through Ignite, uh, We days one through four are the real estate expert of choice days where we kind of learn that. Five through nine are going to be more lead generation. Days 10 through 13 are going to be lead follow-up. And days 14 through 20 are going to be transactional. So hopefully you'll have a good broad overview by the time you're done with all these classes of uh, where to go with the things school doesn't really cover. So. We want to make sure that you are creating a robust value proposition for your business. We want to make sure you're developing a lead generation system with the lead generation model that comes from that, that's in that book, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent. Uh, we will also go over it here. We want to make sure you have a good system for lead follow-up. Uh, that's also a system based on the KW Touch plans and practicing and perfecting the steps of a real estate transaction to get to a successful close. The goals are to end Ignite with one or more appointments, to begin the process of working with a buyer or a seller to buy or sell a home, and develop success habits that will benefit you for your entire real estate career. Let me, of course, my slides are gonna fight me here, so just let me see if I can get them to work. There we go. Okay, so when it comes to real estate expert, the number one that we're working on today is to spark your career. You'll also have embrace your job, connect with your market and define your value. 
Oh, and I'm sorry, I didn't do a good job of introducing myself and I just realized that that is not my name on the screen. I am Allison Korea. I am down in Southern Oregon. Previously, Allison Evans just recently changed last name and I'm the productivity coach here. So for those of you that don't know me, that's who I am. And I'm not sure why it says Tanya, but I'm not gonna mess with the, the thing too much here. Okay, so today's agenda, we are gonna go over a new way of thinking KW culture, KW value, KW resources, your career visioning, and the daily success systems. We'll have moments where we can share ahas or recaps. Anyone can do it, not everyone will, will you? That is a quote from Gary Keller and it kind of goes over our vision. This is a business it's like any other business you get what you put into it uh and we have systems in place so anyone is capable of achieving achieving a big life a big goal a big business ignite instills all of us a new way of thinking it's all about having a success mindset with no doubts today we'll talk about an unlimited mindset fueled by your six personal perspectives KW Culture, the value of working with KW and the Market Center. KW resources that will set you up for success, your career visioning and your daily success systems that are going to supercharge your business through Ignite and beyond. This quote from Gary Keller and his team published books. Gary Keller is the co-founder and chairman of KWX and Keller Williams Realty and one of the most influential people in the real estate world. Real estate is a wonderful business and one where you can make a lot of money, run your own successful enterprise and achieve your biggest dreams. Who would like to share their thoughts on this quote? Is there anyone that, that would like to speak up? Okay, we'll just keep moving on. I trust by the end of Ignite, you'll be lit up with possibilities of your own success and what you will do with it. So it's kind of like the concept of grit, you know, like who is going to persevere when things get hard, who's going to log on and do more work when you're tired and don't feel like it and can watch a movie instead. Like it's right. not going to be easy, but who's going to keep showing up? Yeah. It's that drive you have to have for yourself because nobody, you, you know, you're lucky you have coaches to kind of check in on you, but nobody's actually monitoring the day to day. Right. So it's like, Everyone's laid out the same tools. It's the people that utilize them that will find the most success. So our six personal perspectives here, would you like to know the key to success in abundance? It's the six personal perspectives. They are the way successful people who come before us think and approach problems or challenges. It's the mindset of success. These came about from Gary Keller re researching the most successful people in all the fields and asking this question, what is it that differentiates those who achieve at the highest level from those who don't seem to accomplish as much? From the answers, he discovered that the most they work in unison, they don't stand alone, and they work most effectively in the order shown. Embracing and committing to all six perspectives will help you achieve success in your life and in your business. So we're going to go ahead and explore each one. The commitment to self-mastery. So we, the first perspective that all high achievers share is the self-mastery. Notice it does, it's not commit to mastery, it's commit to self-mastery. And what the difference is there is that when you commit to Self-mastery is the possession of great knowledge, skills, and habits that make you the master of you. When you commit to achieving self-mastery, you know your goals, you know your strengths and weaknesses, and you know how to work with both your strengths and weaknesses to seek and master the necessary knowledge, skills, and habits to reach your goals. Throughout Ignite, you will be acquiring the skills and developing habits to be successful, moving you towards self-mastery. So it's something to think about is, are you committed to self-mastery? Are you committed to knowing your goals, your strengths, and your weaknesses? Are you committed to, are you committed to acquiring the knowledge, skills, and habits to have a successful business? So the hardest one for me in that part is, are you committed to knowing your weaknesses? 
I'm great at telling everyone my strengths. I'll brag about myself all day. It's when I have to look in the mirror and know my weaknesses and how that affects my business that I have a little bit more of a challenge. So that's a big commitment to make to yourself. So hopefully that by being here today, you guys have already decided that you're committed to Ignite and to learning some new skills. The 80-20 principle, 20% of your actions lead to 80% of your results. Maybe one, this may be one of the most powerful, powerful principles you can apply to your life. It's about getting the most from your time and effort. It's about maximizing your results and it's about having focus. You'll sometimes hear 20% activities described as big rocks or plugging that book again, the one thing or your dollar productive activities. What would you guess that your most dollar productive activity in real estate would be? No guesses? So in Ignite, we identify your 20% for you. Your dollar pro productivity activity is lead generation. When you commit to this, you'll make more money, have more time with your family, and be more organized. So that being said, lead generation is what grows your business in this relationship-based business. You have to start building those connections. The third perspective that top performers recognize and understand is how to move from B or E, I'm sorry, which is entrepreneurial, to P, which is purposeful. All of us can attain a certain level of success utilizing our natural abilities, and we can also expect to hit a ceiling at some point. For example, let's say as a kid, you got really good at doing cartwheels or flips. Did having that natural ability allow you to perform in a circus? Most likely that answer is no. You would need to practice and work with a coach for some time before you could perform. Likewise, we all hit that ceiling of achievement by relying on our natural abilities alone. And the way to break through the ceilings of achievement is to get purposeful. What does it mean to get purposeful? It means focusing on the models and systems that organize you and your tasks in the most efficient way. So we want to think about how an example of a time when we reached a ceiling of achievement. I definitely have had a few of those being in real estate 10 years. It's um, I hit a big goal. So when I first started, my goal was I want to sell a million dollar home. When I hit that goal, I didn't take enough time to work on my lead generation, enjoying that big moment. So then I kind of lulled out. So it had, I had to make sure my systems were in place for me to have those successes, celebrate them, but still keep moving forward on my career in real estate. So many who left a salary job for career in business and real estate say they hit a ceiling, feeling how far they could have been promoted at the job they were at and how, how much they would have been paid. High achievers are always looking for a purposeful way. By doing this, they break through the ceiling of natural behavior. Wouldn't you like to achieve success and break through that ceiling and live a larger life? Ignite is not only designed to help you start your business, it helps you grow your business. Ignite will help you move from entrepreneurial to purposeful with the model systems and breakthroughs. The fourth perspective is an obvious one and you're already doing it by being here today. You are being learning-based. A learning-based individual appreciates learning for their own improvement. They know what they know that they know and know there's always more to know. An individual who does not appreciate learning is what is to refer, is referred to as ignorance-based. They know what they know and ignore everything else. Learning-based individuals have made the decision to use effective learning as the foundation piece for their action plan to develop their life. Training and education are a big, big part of moving forward to attain goals and succeed at a really high level. Learning-based individuals commit to the process of acquiring skills and habits. Ignite is the start of you being a learning-based individual. You'll learn more about the learning opportunities available from Gary or from Keller Williams. I am neither especially clever nor especially gifted. I am only very curious. An Albert Einstein quote, who was undoubtedly a learning-based individual. Being learning-based means staying in curiosity and being eager to learn more. 
The fifth perspective is to remove your limiting beliefs. High achievers remove beliefs that hold them back. What are limiting beliefs? They are the thoughts and mindsets that limit you, like the ones on the slide. I don't have time for training. I can't be successful in this market. I can't devote three hours each day to lead generation. We all have limiting beliefs and it's important to recognize them so that you are able to change them. For example, are any of these thoughts in your head? I have to be an expert and know everything before I can start my business. I'm not valid yet. I don't know how, how I can achieve a profit goal that will fund my life this year. I don't feel comfortable talking to people about real estate. The business will come to me naturally. I don't need to lead generate. In order to successfully develop at a higher level, you must clear your mind of all those limiting beliefs. Throughout Ignite, you will learn how to combat your limiting beliefs and turn them into action. What limiting beliefs are you having right now as you embark on this career? So let's do an activity to unlimit any limiting beliefs. So we are going to look at the reframe limiting, limiting beliefs activity in your participation guide. And so we'll use something like, I have to be an expert and know everything before I can begin my business. I'm not valid yet. Something like that. And then we're going to write down, uh, take five minutes to write unlimited beliefs. So any limiting beliefs you may have, let's go ahead and create an unlimited counter to those. So I'm going to start a timer for five minutes and let you guys work on that. At the end of that five minutes, if you had a, something you would like to share or break through in some way, I'd love to hear it. Uh, so go ahead. We're going to start now and work on that. Can I ask you where the guide is? Yeah. Did you find it at all? It should be on that page. It says unlimiting beliefs. Let me pull it up because I have a little bit different of a guide. Well, I don't have a guide. And so oh, I think somebody else in the chat said the same thing. Okay. So for, sorry about that. And let's get, make sure you get those. Uh, Elena, next time you're, is that, yeah. At, at the office, I'd love to get you one. Um, but you can take a piece of paper and just write down by a few unlimiting beliefs and then the counters to those. Um, and if you haven't got a book, we can get you one from our the offices. Sorry, you guys, I'm really bad at looking at the chat also. So I will make sure, Kate, that you, I don't think there's a digital copy, at least one that I have access to, but I will ask Mara after class. So just take some notes today and I'll make sure she knows you don't have one. I believe there's a KW PDF. Um, I was able to find it, but I have a book. Okay. I could send it to, to whoever needs it. Oh, that would be awesome. Or if you want, yeah. It yeah. looks like Kate might need it. Um, you mean so? Yeah. You can send it or even drop it in the chat. Yeah, if you guys put something in the chat and I don't see it, feel free to yell at me because I'm also really bad at watching the chat as I'm going through this stuff. But yeah, let's take a minute and write down our limited beliefs and then a counter to that.
Okay, so as you're finishing up, if there's one you'd like to jump on and share, we have about a minute and a half left, but if you're done and want to share, that would be awesome. I think a good one for me personally is sometimes I get caught up in like the sales aspect and sounding annoying, but to rebuttal that, I always tell myself nobody's going to know that I'm in real estate if I don't go out there and tell them. So I think that's a good one. That is a good one. And something that helps me with that, uh, when I feel like I am bringing value to people, so as I'm helping people with CMAs, as I'm getting them the information they need about their home or about their home purchase, connecting them with lenders um, or my contractors or whoever they may need in their life, those you're bringing value versus trying to sell them on something. And then it kind of naturally builds that relationship. Would anybody else like to share their belief? I got more of a question. How many yeah. how many agents do you see nowadays like carrying their portfolios with them that has like their references, contracts, like detailed pricing for the homes? Because I'm not seeing a lot of that. I, I come from a contracting and exterior remodeling and that was period the practice. So I feel like with real estate agents, a lot of it is social media. Mm -hmm. uh, they have everything there. And then we also have the KW command app where we can pull our listings and our website from. So the, the people that are really into sharing, I I'm going to call it, it's not really their resume, but you know, the resume is the idea of like your previous work. Uh, then they will use their app to, and then they will keep their website very up to date because you can update your website with contractors you work with, with lenders you work with, with insurance agents you work with. And that's kind of that easy link to keep your clients up to date. Um, I don't carry around a lot. I base what I bring to a listing appointment on the client's needs. If they want a, a long background in my career, then I will bring that. If they want how I'm going to sell their home, the pricing that I, the range I think it should be in, that kind of thing, I will bring that information. It's it's really for me based on what the clients are looking for when they give me a call. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's great to it's great to kind of keep your website because we get those websites through command, it's easy to keep them up to date. Um, so I highly suggest that. Anybody else have anything they want to share before we move on to the next? Uh, for mine, I just put just not having enough experience, but then the rebuttal to that is that the experience that I do have is valuable. Um, so even if it's not directly in real estate, it's still like greatly benefits my business and how I can interact um, with people and the rest. I'm just, it's going to take time like it did for everyone else. Right. And with Keller Williams, a great uh, rebuttal to somebody being like, oh, you're a new agent or, um, oh, you're new in the business is I have this great network of agents that support me. We are very collaborative in Keller Williams. You have a coach, you have four principal brokers in the XBN network. So you are able to say, yes, I am new, but I'm so supported by this giant team at Keller Williams that has been in this business for years and years and years. So that helps too, to just bring a level of confidence to your client. Thank you for everyone that has shared some of those limiting beliefs. I know it can kind of be a lot to get on here and share those vulnerable things. And I appreciate you guys participating. So let's go on to the next, which is the sixth and last perspective is all about being accountable. What does being accountable mean to you? Accountability is the first and foremost, an attitude and an approach for your entire life. An accountable person says everything in my life is a result of my choices and actions and I own my life. A person who is accountable in their 20%, I own my life and in certain areas, I want to continually improve my results. I will be purposeful, I will be learning based and I will continue improving. Ignite will provide you with the tools to develop and cultivate your accountability to be successful. What are some ways that you could be accountable right now? So for a lot of people in the productivity coaching program, being accountable right now includes showing up to the classes, 
Uh, it means setting those one-on-ones with your coaches to check in and set realistic timelines for your goals. Showing up to events at the office or real real estate events in the community and really going to things that feel really hard when you don't have a lot of clients, but will ultimately help build your network. Um, it's always good to kind of have a person in your life that you, says, okay, well, you told me you were going to do four open houses by October. Where are you on that? Where's that happening? Uh, so remember, you can reach the highest level of achievement in business and life by adapting all six of these personal perspectives. Happiness is not an individual sport. This quote is about happiness, and yet it applies to business as well. Your business success is not an individual sport. As Gary Keller has learned, no one succeeds alone. This quote comes from Sean Aker, who pioneered the research that reveals happy humans are, are more productive, creative, better at problem solving, and even healthier and less stressed. Would you agree that these outcomes lead to a better business success? Embrace being accountable, utilize your coach, find a mentor mentor or a partner to help you stay accountable and happy. So we're at that moment where you can share some ahas about accountability and one that I want to share, um, I'm also not only the productivity coach, but I'm also on the leadership, the ALC, and one of the people on there shared with me that they didn't like the word accountability. And we were like, discussing, well, why not? Why does it feel negative? And I, I feel like her replies and responses were really common. Like accountability feels like you're answering to someone. Um, and we kind of explored a mind shift on that. And how do you look at it where it's actually you sharing ways that are supporting your business, how they can support you, how you can support them and working through that feeling of like, authority, you know, just because you're accountable to someone doesn't mean they have any authority over your business. Their opinion doesn't change your business, but they're helping you create that business. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think it's okay. tough just finding a healthy support group. Mm -hmm. And that's where the coaches are a great thing to utilize. I've been doing this a while now, and I've noticed not everyone utilizes their coach to the full capacity. Um, it can be as simple as we have office hours twice a week and you could jump on there and just do a check-in. Hi, I don't really have a specific question, but this is where I'm at. And I just mm -hmm. wanted some accountability this week. And, and it can be that simple. Um, and your coaches are put in this position to be a trustworthy accountability partner. And then also finding an agent you can trust and work with openly is not work with, but shadow or bounce ideas off of is really great too in your offices. Okay, so as we go through Ignite, we'll share these ahas a little bit because they're powerful and meaningful. And sometimes something clicks for a person that when they share with the whole group, it really helps the whole experience. So it's important to understand that your success in this business is not all about getting paid or helping people buy or sell homes. It's about your mindset, your beliefs, and your commitment to be the very best you can be. To learn more about those six personal perspectives, you can view videos on KW Online, the Connect Live. So when you go into Command, there's a little tab that's KW Connect, and there's a lot of education there that's all at your fingertips. You can type in any subject, open houses, uh, six personal perspectives, all of those and they all the educational pop up and you can watch a lot of YouTube videos or see what classes we offer. So for Keller Williams is really big on mindset. KW is also big on models and systems that have proven success strategies of those who found success before us. Our job is to take advantage of the collective wisdom so we can be highly successful as well and make this our chosen career for life. So let's see how KW culture will power you through your career. So these are our mission value statement, red day, KW cares, KW kids can, diversity, equity, and inclusion and cultural ambassadors. There's an entire page in command and connect devoted to culture. 
our company intranet of resources available to all of you. In fact, culture is the number one reason people say they choose Keller Williams. Today, we'll focus on a few elements of culture. Our mission, vision, value, beliefs, and perspectives. We'll take a minute to look at this. So the mission is to build careers worth having, businesses worth owning, lives worth living, and experiences worth giving, and legacies worth leaving. Ignite focuses on helping to build your career worth having. Of course, the intention is to build, build the business worth owning. And by the end of Ignite, we'll revisit the mission and explore your thoughts on the life worth living, experiences worth giving, and legacies worth leaving. So throughout Ignite, we're going to touch on that and expand that a little bit more. This is, I always mess up, the W... I-4-C-2-T-E-S. I always will mess that up every single time. But we go win-win or no deal. We operate with integrity. We want to make sure that we put our customers first always. Commitment in all things. Communication. Seek first to understand. Creativity. Ideas before results. Teamwork. Together, everyone achieves more. Trust starts with honesty, equity, opportunities for all, and success results through people. Let's discuss the E for equity for a minute. Passed in 1968, the Fair Housing Act made it legal, illegal to discriminate concerning the sale, rental, and financing of housing based on race, religion, national origin, color, gender identity, and sexual orientation. This law was expanded to prohibit discrimination based on disability or family status in 1988. The National Association of Realtors reminds us that we are stewards of the rights to all to own, use and transfer property that we must protect the free market in, that depends on the equal opportunity. We all must hold ourselves responsible to protect housing rights in our country. In addition, being open to diverse clients, their needs is just as good through business just as good business. Throughout Ignite, we'll present about how equi equity, diversity, and inclusion can benefit our businesses. Learn more about the KW classes, the color of real estate, unconscious bias, and agent of distinction. Learn more about these in diversity, equity, and inclusion on Connect. Once again, that Connect there in command has those education opportunities. So some of you may have already been here for one of our red days. We did it a couple months ago. Red day is when the entire company sets aside a second Thursday of every May to renew, energize, and donate with the communities we serve. A lot of our offices this year worked with a, the animal shelters and did adoption days or did donation days. That was really cool this year. Sometimes we'll do a park cleanup, a building cleanup. We'll volunteer with Habitat for Humanity. It really just depends on the year and what the ALC decides to do. KW Cares is dedicated to serving associates and their qualifying family members experiencing hardship as a result of a sudden emergency. Our KW Cares Fund is something that we are always trying to think of creative ideas to fundraise for because it helps our agents. Uh, it helped a lot with the fires in Hawaii for our agents there. Uh, we've There have been hurricanes where KW Cares has stepped in and it really helps with uh, the hardships for the aged, agents. KW Kids Can is dedicated to empowering young adults to unlock their greatest potential. They are a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to empowering young adults, and it offers self-development, coaching, and scholarships. You are able to, again, get on your command website and get involved in KW Cares or Red Day or KW Kids Can. Is there there's another section here for AHAs. Is there anyone that has something to share about the KW culture that they've noticed, like, um, or that drew them to joining our office? The referral system's really cool. Yeah, I that have, is. I've already reached out to um, other other Latinos working in real estate up in Seattle. That's awesome. And it's and it's been week two. That's awesome. Yeah, building that yeah. referral network is important too, because as soon as they need someone down here, they're going to think of you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I recommend everybody use it. And what he's referring to is also in command. 
Uh, it, you can go to anywhere. It, it's international, so you can really go anywhere and find agents with similar interests. There are also gr specific groups of veterans, Latino, like they, they just have like all kinds of different groups. If you're into dogs, you can find a group that focuses on dogs. Like it's really like you can find your people everywhere and start your own referral network. So whatever hobbies you have, wherever you, whatever path career you have, you can find a referral network based on that. In the next section, we're going to talk about how Keller Williams as a global company and your local market center provide value to a, you and your clients. Since 1983, Keller Williams has cultivated an agent-centric, technology-driven, and education-based culture that rewards agents as stakeholders. Keller Williams is the largest global real estate franchise by agent count and has more than 1,100 offices and 200,000 associates. KW is also number one in units and sales volume in the United States and at the forefront of technology, training, and culture. KWX is holding company of Keller Williams and is composed of Keller Williams, Keller Williams Worldwide, Keller Manage, Keller Offers, and Keller Home Financial Services, consisting of Keller Mortgage and Keller Covered, all of which are designed to serve you, the agent, and your clients. How does being a part of KW benefit you and your customers? They offer the services of Keller Mortgage, Keller Covered, and Keller Offers. They use statistics to express your value to po potential clients as needed, and they share the statistics with agents and companies who consider a great candidate to join. Later, we will discuss your ability to give and receive referrals and how easy it is to connect with KW agents across the globe. We just kind of touched on that, but we get into it a little deeper. Keller Williams is known for its stellar coaching and training. Having earned top awards from training magazines for over four years to enter the exclusive Hall of Fame, KW recognizes the importance of value and training like Ignite cor courses and coaching programs like Bold that are offered to agents twice a year. Training is offered in several ways to make it ex as accessible as possible. You may ask Access content on both Connect, our intranet website, and Connect Live, our live and on-demand video library. Accessible from Connect. Short videos are offered live daily on Connect Live, and there is a complete on-demand library that com com comprises hundreds of hours of market of the moment training by the best in the business. There are classes like Ignite offered in your market center classroom or on Zoom. And KW also offers classes at the regional and international level. There are two big annual events for training, coaching, and networking that you may attend. Family reunion, which happens over several days in February. This year will be in Vegas, if you're interested. And also Mega Camp, which happens in over several days in August. And that one's in Austin, Texas. So... You, these are great ways to make yourself learning-based and part of your action plan. How would you like a personal assistant that would help you stay connected with your clients, potential clients, remind you of deadlines, appointments, and who to connect with each day, track progress of every deal in real time, project your income at no extra cost to you? Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, you already have it with KW Technology. So KW technology exists to simplify every day, making room for what truly matters to you. As home and business increasingly coexist and the virtual life weaves into reality, KW technology provides you the right tools, tech, and resources to help you maintain your business at the highest level. Command is the homepage for every agent's business. So this front page that shows on the slide, we if you have logged into command, you've definitely seen this. I highly recommend setting your goals, uh, your gross commission goal for the year and putting it in there and it, it will break it down to leads, appointments, under contract and closed. And you it'll even show you how many calls you're supposed to be making a day, how many people you want in your database to hit that goal. It will also remind you as you put those contacts in with information, the last time you talk to them, you have a space to put notes to see what you guys talked about. So the next time you call, if they say we just got a new puppy, you can say, oh, how's that puppy doing? Uh, and really just make it simple for yourself to remember 
and make your people feel like you really care. The command app is in your pocket interface to your desktop version of command. This app will remind you of things you need to do while storing all your contacts and allowing you to take notes about conversations. In addition, agents have full access to client data and can track their contacts and leads in real time. Agents also have the ability to text contacts directly through the app. You'll have the opportunity to download the command app once you're in command. So some of you may already have the command app. Um, this is how I actually moved all my contacts over with, I used the app and then I went into command on my computer and edited my contacts. It made it really easy. So hopefully that helped if you haven't done that yet. This app is for your consumers and you. This is a consumer facing counterpart to command. Your contacts may directly communicate with clients, keep track of showings and be the first to know when clients start or stop their search. Buy, sell, and facilitate the entire transaction all through your personalized branded KW app. We'll walk through the process of downloading and branding your KW app in day three of Ignite. Another feature of KW technology is a partnership with DocuSign to integrate their document management platform in command. DocuSign offers a secure digital workspace where your documents and forms can be signed and sent to clients. Okay, we're going to skip over a little bit of these because everyone has different office info, so I don't like to do to go too deep into that. But if you ever need help finding your office info, we can do that for you, or you can reach out to your coach. Another of KW's value is profit share and growth share. You've heard about profit share when you joined and chose a sponsor. When you chose that sponsor, you automatically became a part of the profit share system and you made your sponsor, sponsor eligible to share in the market center's profit. So what exactly is profit share? It's completely entirely and wholly absolutely passive income. What is passive income? It's money you receive without doing anything actively to earn it. That's pretty cool. Keller Williams designed a system for you to share the profits of the company like an owner would without any personal risks or investing in capital. This means no fi financial risks, no legal risks, no down payment, no phone calls. And who benefits? You, your family, and your heirs. Yes, you can pass the income on to your heirs. Your market center and the people you influence to join Keller Williams by helping the market center grow and helping other real estate agents benefit from the value that KW provides. Keller Williams Associates and leadership as a whole. There's also a growth share, which allows you to help grow the company outside of the United States and Canada. Any associate can participate in brief the rewards of both growth share and profit share. So something I like to really talk about with the passive income and profit share, if you are coming across agents that are getting their license, or if you are talking to agents that maybe don't feel like they're getting the education and support they need, uh, bring them to a Keller Williams class, bring them into the office to meet your principal broker or your team leader, and then ask them if they decide to join Keller Williams to name you as their sponsor. They are then put in your profit share downline. This is a really great way to connect with good agents that maybe just need some more support and also get that passive income going for yourself. Does anyone have any questions about this? Uh, the market center or profit share, how that works. Okay, we'll keep it for, for profit share, it would be the next agent down generating an income that would right. therefore share to me. Uh, so it's okay. the profit of the whole market center, but you become uh -huh. eligible when you bring an agent on and they are selling. Mm -hmm. um, so when they're making a profit, you are then a, uh, eligible yeah. for the profit share tree. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So next we are going to talk a little bit about the Keller Williams resources that we offer. The goal of Keller Williams is to keep you, the agent, at the center of the home buying and owning experience. Keller Williams Realty has been joined by Worldwide, Keller Mortgage, Keller Covered, and Keller Offers. To make sure that you are the center of the home buying experience and the center of the life 
of the home ownership experience. When we bring up these companies, especially Keller Mortgage, it's important to follow the RESPA, Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act guidelines. And there should be a link in your book along, along with these companies for that. Uh, you always want to recommend a couple lenders. You always want to recommend a couple insurance agents. You don't ever want to be steering your clients into a situation where they say, oh, well, you told me I had to use this person. It's always what's best for your buyers or sellers, and you want to give them options so they can make an informed decision for themselves. So Keller Williams strives to meet the needs of all associates, including those who solely specialize Excuse me, I'm sorry. Who specialize in a niche of real estate. There are agents who choose only to help clients with commercial needs, such as office buildings, retail space, multi-unit apartments, hotels, etc. Other agents are finding great success catering to clients in sports or entertainment fields. KW provides communities for these specialties, along with targeted services and marketing. Agents who become members of one or more of these communities may be offered additional resources, such as marketing materials designed specifically for them. So that's something to think about is if you see this list and you're like, oh, I would like to be a part of luxury or I'm a military veteran, uh, these communities all already exist in command. So uh, it would be good to connect with people that are in the same niche market as you. It doesn't mean that that's the only thing you have to do but is a specialization that you can add to your wheelhouse. Now we've come to the fun part. After being introduced to all that Keller Williams has to offer, it's time to focus on you and your goals, your dreams and your vision. So I'm gonna just ask these questions. I know some people aren't comfortable talking on here, but if a few people wanna share what drew them to this career, that would be um, really cool what you find exciting about this career, what do you intend to achieve for yourself and your family, and kind of think about and write this down where you'll be a year from now. I'm gonna kind of just leave it open if somebody wants to shout that out, or if you wanna just write those answers down so you can look back at them. Um, but it's really important to think about a year from now, what, where do you wanna be? What do you wanna be working on? What successes do you wanna have then? I'm going to give you about four minutes to work on that and feel free. I'm going to leave it so you can shout it out. What drew me to real estate was um, the possibility of passive income and freedom. Owning real estate is a good way to create passive income for yourself and your family and get your time back, you know, instead of working a nine to five and being there all the time, you can possibly have a little bit more freedom. I mean, it takes a long time to get those houses, but working and selling real estate also makes a lot of money, which helps you get those assets to create the passive income. Yes, there's definitely, been, the sky's the limit as an agent, the sky's the limit for what you can do for your family. Um, and real estate is a great investment. Mm -hmm. Just give it a couple more minutes. And if you turn to the page, your vision, your future, which I'm hoping you're on, it's page 47 of your guide if you have it. Um, it's, there are some previously set goals and you can kind of fill it in too.
Okay, so oh, we are going to go on to this. It is page 48. If you have it, this is an easy diagram to draw out if you don't have it. But let's expand our thinking beyond one year. For example, what you're doing, what are you doing for the people you care about? What charities would you like to support? And how would you make the lives of everyone around you better? For this next activity, we will take a few minutes to complete this chart in the participation guide. In the boxes around the middle, fill in people and projects you care most about. You are free to add more boxes if you are short. Add any amount that you would like to spend on each. For example, you wanna pay for both of your children's tuition, put that in a box. Pay off your home or car or donate money to a local soccer field. Those are all things that could be important to you. Finally, you will add up all the numbers along with what you need for your own lifestyle and debt. Um, and then we will figure out the amount that you would want to make to have your ideal life. Don't limit yourself. Avoid thinking I'll never be able to afford $120,000 in tuition. Just put what you desire to spend. Ignite is about working on the skills and habits that will get you what you want. So we're going to take a little bit of additional time here. I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. And I want you to really take this exercise uh, pretty seriously because it's a good way to set goals to get to where you want to be. And don't uh, don't shrink your, your ideas. Don't limit yourself. I'm going to start the timer now. You guys can all get work on that.
Okay, did anyone have any thing, any thoughts they wanted to share looking at that or anything that was uh, changed their thinking a little bit? I just have kind of a related question. Um, is there going to be a component of this that talks about taxes and like out of the money that you take home, how much of it you realistically need to be planning to set aside? Yes, that will not be in this class. I can grab, let me grab a schedule and see what day that is. Awesome. Thanks well, so much. It's right here. So I'm going to check. It depends how much are you trying to make. Measure 118 might pass. There, there will be additional taxes for that. Yeah, so this is also something that once you've set your goal, you want to meet with an accountant to talk about taxes because that's not something that technically that we can give you an exact number on because we're not accountants. We don't cover the taxes. But the um, amount that is recommended to set aside for taxes if you're paying quarterly is 30% of your commission. But that's also, like I said, speak to an accountant and it's better to have too much at the end of the year than not enough. <laughs> but let me see here. So that one will probably be on the 24th fourth under title and escrow. I think they go over commissions on there. There's also the listing contract net sheet that is on the 10th of October. Those are number ones that you'll want to be at. And then the get to close on 11.11, we'll also go over that. So today being day two, it's kind of about mapping out uh, your big why and how to, what number your ideal life looks like. Great, thanks so much. So to achieve success, you need motivation and inspiration for doing it, which is your big why. As you go through Ignite, looks it looks at what you're limiting, how you are limiting your own success and removing those barriers that you're putting in your way. Be especially aware of those limiting beliefs that can creep in if you're not careful and connect to your goals to push through and achieve your goals. At KW, we believe in thinking really big. We never limit ourselves by thinking average or anything less than big. Everyone has a big why. Your big why is what you're most passionate about along with your mindset and attitude is what drives you. What stirs your soul? Think beyond your business. What really drives you? Is it money? freedom, providing for your family, college tuition for your children, building a legacy for the future, supporting a charity. What is it? Take a moment to write this down in the participation guide. So for example, I made my big why 10 years ago and it still hangs on my wall and mine is debt-free equals freedom. So that is when I'm having a rough day where I maybe don't want to do my lead generation or I maybe don't want to deal with a tough client, I always look at my big why. That's what it goes back to for me. So the answer to that question of what stirs your soul, what inspires you is your big why. Anyone can achieve the goals set in this course, but not everyone will. The journey requires discipline and commitment to follow the model, systems, and schedule every day. It requires passion towards something bigger than the task at hand, which is your big why. First, have a big why built around your passion, then follow the models you'll learn in this course to keep doing it and you'll achieve big, big success. First, have a big why built around your, or I'm sorry, once you have a strong enough big why, the how doesn't really matter. To achieve success, you need to motivate and motivation and inspiration to do that. Your big why will fuel, the big why will take money and the big why will fuel the money it will take and your income goal. In the last activity, you estimated how much you'd like to earn and for the things that you that are most important to you. First, let's get real about how commissions work. Many new agents get the check for their first closing and pocket and all. It's an exciting amount of money. And then there may be some trouble down the line. 
Let's talk about where that money goes and how much will actually be going toward your goal. These numbers are very general and meant only as an example. These actual amounts will vary, especially if you are a team agent. So if you're on a team agent, that is a 50-50 split typically between the buyer or yeah, between the team leader and you. But in a in for your commission. So in the sale of a home, there's typically a 50, 50% between the buyer's agent and the listing agent if you are a solo agent. About a third of that goes to the market center to cover company dollar, franchise royalty, and fees. Then another third goes back into your business to cover the marketing, operating expenses, signs, car, phone, and anything else you needed to conduct and grow your business. Here is where you put money away to save and pay your taxes. Finally, you get your share. There's a lot different than you're thinking to getting a full commission, isn't it? Here's an important habit to start now. Put money away for your taxes religiously. You don't want to have a year's worth of work wiped out because you failed to plan. So it's really smart to be aware of that and make sure that your take home, what you're investing back into your business, your taxes are all planned for when you get that first commission. So how many houses must you help buy or sell in the next 12 months to reach your income goal? So say your net income goal is $100,000. Your company dollar and royalty cap would be $30,000. Your business expense is about $50,000. So right there, you're at $180,000 for your gross commission income, your GCI. Your average commission will be $9,000. So your annual transaction goal would be 20 houses. So there is a blank one that you are able to fill out too um, with your net income goal. If you were all sitting in the classroom, we would do that together. But your net income goal is how much money you'd want to make this year before taxes and operating expenses. So you go back to that middle of the circle there. And then your company dollar and royalty cap is the maximum amount you can expect to pay the market center. So once you cap, whether it takes you two months or 11 months, you then get 100% of your commissions once you're a capped agent until your anniversary date and it starts over. Your business expenses are anything if you're paying people salaries, lead generation, marketing expenses, education, so flyers, business cards, that kind of thing. Uh, your total G, gro GCI, your gross commission income, is the total of A, B, and C added together. This is how much money you'll need to earn the, from the transactions to pay the market center and still hit your net income goals. Your average commission is an average gross commission income per transaction example. And F is how many transactions you'll need to hit your goal. So to get this number, you divide D your gross commission income by E, your average commission. And so in this example, or in the last example, it ended up being 20 houses. So going into a year and knowing that your goal is to help 20 families find a home, then that helps you stay on track. At a quarter, you'll know you need at least six done to get through the year. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions or ahas about that? So that page is something you'll want to just figure out with your net income goal. And you can also do that in command by entering your net income goal um, and fill that out for yourself so that you can keep track of where you're at and your goals coming in 2025. We also have a business planning. I believe it's November 5th. Keep an eye out in your emails, but we will have business planning before the start of 2025 to help you guys set some realistic goals. So. This is where you're gonna kind of you're gonna go on your own. I'm gonna end the Zoom and you're gonna do those daily success systems. You are gonna lead generate. We wanna add, I, I believe it's 10 people. We wanna have 10 conversations. We'd like to add 10 contacts. You can do 10 handwritten notes and do a social media engagement. Uh, and those are things that you're gonna be doing on your own time that are a very important part of lead generation. So if you have any questions as you go through that, uh, please feel free to ask or at the beginning of these classes when we're sharing, 
Um, that's a good time to check in that you did them. And then does everyone know about the TCPA don't call list? Make sure we're utilizing that. Uh, so that way you can subscribe to the registry and check people before you call and update your list that way. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have shown you this. There's the 10 conversations. This is in your book, so I'm sure you can use it to fill out. And then any enrichments would be extra things. Also something as we go through this Ignite group together, if you get an appointment from doing your success things, I think that's an important thing to share um, just because it does work and it's it's great to get a share a success story. So the daily success systems require that we talk to people every day. It's important to know what to say and will help you throughout Ignite. You'll have conversations of care and gratitude. You'll check in with people. You'll offer value and assistance. Notice I didn't say you're calling to ask to buy or sell anything. You Because there's a better way to gain confidence and stay in touch with people so that when they think of real estate, they think of you. Conversations strengthen relationships. Just as the doctor learns anatomy before working with page, patients, agents must prepare to have meaningful conversations with clients. Using purposeful language helps you get to the end point, an appointment and a closed transaction. Knowing and practicing what to say helps you communicate your value and provide the value lead for your client. Proper conversations, including powerful questions, help uncover motivations for a buyer and seller and identify any ob objections so you can address them up front. Practicing conversations allows you throughout response that delivers, I'm sorry, allows you a thought out response that delivers a powerful message in a way that the consumer will best understand and be able to utilize. Practicing allows you to ask questions in a way that people will be able to share that information you need to better serve them. So we have a script practice every morning at 8.30, Monday through Thursday, that are on the calendars. If you're interested in that, I highly suggest logging on there. It just gives you practice in the flow of conversation in real estate. So did you find everything you were looking for? I'm sorry. I'm missing, I'm missing where, who's ever heard these phrases or similar ones while you're out shopping? Did you find everything you're looking for? Go ahead, look around, and please let me know if I can help you. I see you admiring that big screen TV. Are you looking to get one for the big game this weekend? These are all common examples you would see if you're out shopping. These questions should be seen as a tool that is essential to getting your job done and always be 100% customer oriented throughout. So the phrases on the slide are typically well-known and commonly used in sales and service industries. So we will wanna make sure that we know our phrases for real estate transactions. So a sphere, when I say to people, utilize your sphere, build your sphere, a sphere definition is people you've met in one way, shape, or form. Catch your sphere on the move. The average person moves every seven to 10 years. So we've all been agents that have had that moment where we're on Facebook and we just see like a close friend we saw at a barbecue a month ago puts, I just bought a house. So, okay, there's their seven to 10 year timer will start. But look in the comments of those kinds of things and try to pick up on um, anybody saying, oh, we're, we just started looking too, or we're interested, What who did you use? And start adding those people to your sphere also. So you'll want to make sure that while you're in that in between the seven to 10 years part, you're still keeping contact. You're still keeping up to date. In Ignite, we'll be having conversations with people and know the implicit relationships to remain in contact. We all call all these people our sphere or sphere of influence or SOI. Your sphere of influence are people you've met who know you, trust you, and respect you. They're most likely to help you after all people like to be in business with those they know, trust, and respect. The contacts in your phone are a great place to start to work on your sphere of influence. It's more than just your friends and family. You can ask people if they would prefer to do business with people they know, trust, and respect. Do you think your friends and acquaintances would use you as a realtor they know and trust? According to the National Association of Realtors, which we refer to as NAR, 66% of sellers and 41% of buyers found their agent through a friend, a neighbor, or a relative, or used an agent they had worked with before. 
It costs nothing to call people you already know. It requires fewer contacts and less effort to ask them for business or to refer friends and family. So who do you know going through a life event that may lead to a move? It could be someone's kid just went to college and they're thinking about moving to the state they're in. It could be somebody going through a divorce. It could be somebody that just had a baby and needs more space. Um, who do you? Who doesn't know you're a real estate agent yet? Give them a call and let them know. Let them know how they can support your business. Who have you not spoken to in the last two weeks? These are all people that are great first calls to get warmed up and start connecting with people again. So your job is to have a relationship throughout home ownership. So you're top on mind when they're beginning to consider another move after that initial move. If you don't talk to them for eight years after a deal, why would they be the first to call? So when you close a deal, you want to make sure that you're still keeping in contact with your previous clients. I have had a lot of people that I've listed for that didn't use the agent that they used the first time around, not because they didn't like them, but because they just happened to think of me first versus had that agent kept in contact with them for seven to 10 years just checking in, seeing how they were doing, offering them any connections to services, they may have had a better chance of listing the home. So if you don't talk, oh yeah, so if you don't talk to them for seven to 10 years, they're not going to call you. This is why we stay in contact with people consistently over time. When you continually offer value, they will be the ones reaching out when they are ready to make a move. So who do you know that's recently moved? Who might be thinking about a move soon? And who's somewhere in the middle? These are people that should be on the top of your call list. So the Ford method is something you should practice. It's family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. You're gonna have several conversations with another part. So if, the, if you were in class together, you would have several conversations with another participant in class and work on these conversations. Um, you can reach out to another productivity coaching uh, person and try to set time up to do these, or you can do them in the mirror. Or sometimes what I would do is I'll record myself doing them and then kind of see where I could work on things. Uh, so you will lead the conversation and you will go through these topics. So you'll ask, oh, how's the family doing? Oh, did you get that new job you wanted? What have you been doing for fun? What are you working on next? So that covers all four that help build those connections to people. So you want to work on those, on having a natural conversation following the Ford method. It'll help you keep the conversation flowing as you're reaching out and doing your lead generation. Does anyone have any questions about that for me? Okay, we'll keep it rolling. Um, so these are some things, some ahas that maybe you can think about. How has your thinking changed? What ideas or mindsets were new? What do you feel differently about? What was meaningful to you today? And how will your behaviors be different going forward? And what actions will you take? What tools, models, or systems will you use? And how will these make you accountable? So the tools, models, and systems you'll dive more in depth with in further classes. So if you're like, I don't really know yet, um, what your system is right now are your daily success systems. It's getting those 10 contacts made every day. And then that will grow into a deeper understanding of systems as you go through Ignite. So to prepare for your next session, you'll just want to make sure you are practicing that board uh, conversation. You'll want to make sure that you are updating your database for at least 30 minutes and that you're getting those 10 contacts, preparing your call list for the day, and make sure you're working on those success habits. So this is where I'm going to let you go have that time and hopefully you'll be able to get into command a little bit and explore some of the other education in there. You'll also, if you have a KW culture you'd like to join, a KW value, um, and the resources, you'll be able to get in there and kind of navigate and explore that a little bit. And then as you go through this process, you'll start career visioning more and more. Does anyone have any questions for me or anything they want to share before I let you guys go today? Just want to say thank you. Appreciate it.
No problem. And if you don't have one of the Ignite books, we can get one from the office closest to you, wherever you're at, uh, while I'm still thinking about that. So make sure to pop in and grab one. Or I think they, you guys got the, the download in the chat, I think, or the emails shared. So thank you so much for coming today. And please reach out if you need anything.